Five reasons. Five reasons why I don't use the Robinhood app. I recently did a poll where I asked everybody what was their number one or what was their trading platform of choice. And, you know, miraculously, Robinhood was the number three. I was a little shocked. So I decided, hey, since you guys are my uh, real supporters and followers and fans that supported me over the years, I'm going to give you three reasons why I don't use the Robinhood app. And since I know that out of my followers, this was the number three platform that everybody said to use, I want to put them out there. And I was talking to a guy one day. And I was telling him, I was breaking down to him why I liked uh, other platforms over Robinhood. And he scratched his head and said, wow, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could have your dividends reinvested. I didn't know you could just read it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, you're now tuned into the Investor Show as always. This is your gracious host, Prince Dice, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. Drop, you know, check out the comment box. Uh, not the comment box, but the description box to check out to uh, check out some of my other platforms. And always don't forget, uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications as they drop. And as always, I don't have a lot of time. And I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time. Let's jump straight into it. I know early I said I was going to give you three reasons, but I'm going to give you five. Five reasons why I don't use the Robinhood app. Number one, right, it's only an app. So all the other trading platforms like an E-Trade or TD Ameritrade or all the other big giant brokers out there, uh, they pretty much use, they have a, a app version and they also have a desktop version. So first thing is, why do I want to sign up with somebody who just has an app? So I don't like that. Sometimes I like to log in. I like to look at things. I like to move things around. Plus, I can just pull up on my little handy-dandy phone and have an app as well. So I have both with everybody else. But Robinhood, you're only an app. That's one reason. Number two. It's probably my biggest reason or the biggest thing out there that most people don't even know about. Right? It is the drip program. DRIP, Dividend Reinvestment Plan. If I go buy Ford on an E-Trade or a TD Ameritrade or whoever else, and then I go buy it on Robinhood, we all know that Ford or Verizon or AT&T or Microsoft, Apple, those are companies that pay dividends. So I can enroll my dividends into the DRIP program, the DRIP program. So let's say if I get a dollar of dividends, instead of having that dollar come to my account, I can have that dollar go buy me an additional portion of the company. For example, my son, I brought him McDonald's stock uh, back on his sixth birthday. So, and that was the only time I purchased McDonald's. But when I log into my account, I can see all of these dividend payments that purchase him additional shares. So let's say, for example, in 2016, I purchased him five shares. Now in 2018, I think he has like 5.5 shares. How did that happen? All of those dividends, instead of going to my account, they were being reinvested and buying additional fractional shares of McDonald's. Now, that is something that you can't have with Robinhood. Robinhood, it takes your money. Let's say if you got a dollar, it just puts it into your cash account. What are you going to do with a dollar? You can't buy anything with a dollar. You know how many dollars you got to collect to get one share of McDonald's? It's going to take a while. But no, my money was being reinvested. And you can't do that with Robinhood. Big no-no. That's why I don't like it. No drip program. No proto bono for me. Number three. Charts, 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 charts. That's what I like about uh, E-Trade or TD Ameritrade or whoever else is out there, all these other big brokers. No charts with Robinhood. Yes, you can pull up a chart and you can look at it. What if I want to compare McDonald's to the S&P 500? I can't do that. What if I want to compare McDonald's to Burger King or Walmart to uh, Target? Can I do that with Robinhood? No. So guess what? Don't like it. I got to go somewhere else to do research. I can log on to my E-Trade desktop or my TD Ameritrade desktop, and I can look at, uh, I can compare and analyze uh, looking at charts, who does what, how it's performed over 10 years, 5 years, uh, how it performed during a recession, all of the good stuff. And also with uh, these other brokers, you can compare them to the 2008 crash. You can even compare them to the 2019 crash. So, uh, Robinhood, you can't do that. I ain't with you. Number four, the only reason why the Robinhood app is even on my phone is because of 
it came out and it broke the mold with free trades. It broke the mold with free trades. And I was like, woo, free trades. That's kind of cool. At that time, E-Trade was charging $9.99. TD Ameritrade was something like $8.99, $9.99. And I'm like, whoa, okay, we got a new guy in town that's turning around and doing the what? That's uh, taking away the trades. I download the app. That's why I even got interested in Robinhood. But we all know within the last month, the mode has been broken. Charles Schwab is free. TD Ameritrade is free. E-Trade is free. Not on every single thing, but for majority of everyday traders, people that's out there buying stocks and uh, buying and selling uh, stocks, they got rid of the fees, so nobody has the fees. So that makes Robinhood irrelevant. The only reason why Robinhood was relevant was because of the free trades. Now that everybody, Ally, all these other places, everybody is free on free trades, Robinhood, where's your thing now? What makes you relevant now? Plus, everybody has an app. Everybody has an app. Everybody has free trading. Robinhood, what else you going to do? I don't know. Five, 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 five. The number five reason... Why I choose a TD Ameritrade, not a TD Ameritrade, but the reason why I don't do Robinhood, the reason number five why I don't do a Robinhood is because of reports, 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 reports. So, for example, I can log on to other platforms like a TD Ameritrade or E-Trade, and I can look at the 10K report, the annual report. I can look at the 10Q report. It has all the earnings reports in there. It has all the performances. I can look at the report straight in there. I don't have to, uh, if I want to see the balance sheet for uh, Walmart last year, the 2018, the annual balance sheet, I can do that straight inside of the platform. With a Robinhood, yes, you're cool, you're convenient, so is everybody else, but I can't see reports, and I love to read reports because I actually do read 10Ks, 10 kilos to uh, analyze and make adjustments on investments. I can't even pick up my Robinhood and app and do that, but I can log in, buy stock, do everything the Robinhood app is doing, have the app version, so reports. I need my reports. You ain't got reports. I can't deal with you. That's my five reason. My name is the Prince of Investing, Prince Dykes. I'm coming to you guys and girls all the way live from the beautiful state of Denver, Colorado. Um, no, this video is not sponsored by anybody or whatever. I'm just giving you guys my opinion. Since until next video podcast, cartoon, or whatever else you see me do crazy around the globe, peace, be safe, I'm out. Check out the latest installment of the multi-book series teaching kids about financial literacy. Wesley learns about insurance. Guest starring Broncos Hall of Fame running back Terrell Davis, authored by Prince Dykes. Teaching kids the real-life skill sets that matter as they grow older. The third book in the Father-Son Financial Literacy series gives a kid-friendly introduction into the world of insurance. Award-winning and recently stamped by Warren Buffett. Available hardcover, paperback, ebook, and audio online at Amazon, iTunes, Audible, Barnes & Noble, Walmart.com, Tattered Books, and more. Hardcovers are only available at Lulu.com, presented by Alpha One Tax and Wealth and Belco Credit Union.